Seeing videos of European Americans leaving offerings at an Indian burial ground in Tampa to ask for protection is giving me a lot of feelings. Watching these disasters unfold through an indigenous lens is very different. And on one hand, you know, obviously I want people, human and animal, to get to safety. It makes me sad for the land. My heart's breaking for people who can't leave, disabled people, poor people, incarcerated people. I can have those feelings. And then when I see white people going to an Indian burial ground to ask for protection, I can also have the feelings of when's the last time any of these people have given a thought to the missing and murdered indigenous women and girls in two-spirit crisis? When's the last time they've given a thought to the widespread water crisis that countless native nations are dealing with? When's the last time they gave a thought to the fact that natives experience some of the highest levels of violence and murder at the hands of police? When's the last time they gave a single thought to the ongoing violation of treaties? When have they ever given a thought to any of the issues that keep us in a perpetual state of genocide and ethnocide? And if you were complacently and happily benefiting from genocide and colonization instead of actively reaching out and trying to help native communities in our fight for sovereignty, why why would you ask them for protection? Because if it was me in the ground and someone came to me asking for help as they were benefiting from the ongoing genocide and colonization of my descendants, I'd be throwing gasoline on that bitch personally. Lastly, people would rather scramble at the last minute to leave flowers at Indian burial grounds instead of just listening to native peoples. Indigenous people have been getting locked up, facing terrorism charges, for fighting against the things that are contributing to the storm that you're about to face. Listening to us and supporting us in the fight against climate change is what will actually help prevent storms, not leaving flowers at an Indian burial ground. Anyways, those are my complex emotions as a native person watching these things happen. And my heart is with all the people who are trapped in Florida and cannot leave.